Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we will be converting between metric and customary measuring units. And that's a difficult topic for many, so I'll try to take it slow, okay? First of all, I wrote here some conversion factors that we will use. Now, besides these, there are many more if you have a mathematical table or so, but I just wrote some, such as one inch is 2.54 centimeters, and then it's one foot into meters, and one mile into kilometers, and then one quart into liters, and then one ounce is this many grams, then one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Okay, so we're gonna use those. And my first problem has 4.82 meters into feet. Now let's check, first of all, our conversion factors. Do we have one between meters and feet? Yes, we do. It's one foot equals so many meters. Okay, if this had been one meter equals so many feet, because I have here so many meters, then I could have just multiplied it. But now it turns out I need to divide by the conversion factor. Okay? And I want you to think now. In each of these problems, we will either multiply or divide by the conversion factor. But which? How do you know whether to multiply or divide? Here's one way you can know. And that is, if you know by heart which ones are longer or bigger units, meters or feet. I hope you know that feet are shorter, okay? There's about three feet into one meter. Meters are the bigger units. So if I have almost five meters here, in feet, I need a bigger number here because feet are smaller units. So whether I multiply or divide, I have to get a bigger number here than 4.82. And my decimal number here, the conversion factor, if I multiply by it, if I take this times this, I would get a smaller number as a result, okay? Because this number is less than one. So I will divide by it. This divided by that. Okay, and I'm gonna round it to one, one decimal digit. It's about 15.8 feet. And that makes sense, okay? This is about five meters, and I get about three times that many in feet. How about 17 kilometers into miles? Now, what would you do? Would you multiply by this or divide by that, okay? Now, are kilometers or miles bigger units or longer units? Kilometers are shorter, right? And so, over here, this number here has to be a smaller number than 17, because miles are longer units than kilometers. So, I need to divide by it so I can get a smaller number here. 17 divided by 1.6093. And I get 10.56, about. This one, I'm gonna skip for now. We'll come back to it in a little bit. Let's take this one, because it's easier. We have kilograms and pounds. Here's our factor. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So you can see over here that one kilogram is the bigger unit, right? I have this many kilograms into pounds. So in pounds, I need a bigger number right? Just like here, the number for pounds is the bigger number. So, in order to get the bigger number, I need to multiply by 2.2. Okay, 120.56. Six gallons, three quarts, how many liters? Our conversion factor is one quart equals so many liters, almost one liter. And here we have gallons. I don't have written any conversion factor for gallons here. But what I can do is first change this into so many quarts, okay? Each gallon is four quarts, right? So six gallons, 24 quarts, plus three more, so there's 27 quarts here. And now, since I have the one quart equals so many liters, 27 quarts equals 27 times the conversion factor in liters, okay? Or you can think over here, 
the number for quarts is bigger than the number for liters. And so I need to get a little bit smaller number here, which will work when I multiply by this number, because this number is less than 1. Okay, 25.542 liters. Then 3 pounds 15 ounces into kilograms. Again, we have here two units, pounds and ounces. So we either need to change this separately into kilograms and this separately into kilograms, or change this into so many pounds first, or change this into so many ounces first, okay? So there's lots to think about. I have the conversion factor for both ounces and pounds, okay? So there's many ways to do this now. Let me try if we will change this into ounces first. And then, since one ounce is this many grams, then we can multiply by that. Three pounds, how many ounces is it? One pound, 16 ounces, right? Three pounds is three times 16, that's 48. Plus 15, so we will get 63 ounces, right? And now, one ounce is 28.35 grams. So 63 ounces, 63 times that much. My answer is in grams, because this is here, grams. I'm going to write it here. 1,786 grams. As kilograms, it is 1.786 kilograms. And then lastly, this one that I skipped here earlier, milliliters and fluid ounces. Now the difficulty here is that I do not have a conversion factor written here for fluid ounces and liters, okay? But I'm going to make one. Let's take this first, I'm going to copy it here. One quad equals, this is in liters, I'm going to write here milliliters now, nine, four, six milliliters. And one quad is 32 ounces, liquid ounces or fluid ounces. And now I can get the conversion factor between ounces and milliliters, okay? Either by getting one ounce equals so many milliliters or one milliliter equals so many ounces. I can do it either way. Let's do it for one ounce equals this number divided by 32. And we get 29.5625 milliliters. Okay, now milliliters into fluid ounces. Do we need to divide or multiply? If I multiply, I would get many thousands of fluid ounces. I hope you can see that won't work. Fluid ounces are bigger units than these. So I need to divide. Okay, this is about 11.9 fluid ounces. <laughs> 